I have lost count of the amount of times online I've told people that the ones of these that pull the cables through and chop them off are shit. <laughs> I've seen loads of Instagram influencers and Instagram sparks and just people in general, yeah, using the ones where you strip this cable, you pull them through so they stick out there and you chop them off, yeah? They are fucking garbage. They expose the copper ends to the atmosphere, yeah? So if any water comes up this cable, it can pass through this plug into your switch. And this cable, remember, is hollow, so it can happen. You get a nick down here, the water gets in, draws up to the heat, comes through there and wrecks you, whatever you plug this into. It might be a £100 camera, it could be a £10,000 switch. I've lost time, count the amount of times I said I'm going to do a video. So, I've got some Cat5 cable, I've got a normal RJ45 connector, which is actually called an 8P8C connector. I use this Nipex one, I really, really like it. I really, really rate it. It does 8Ps and 6Ps. It says 8P and 6P because they're 8 and 6P. Yeah, the 4 is actually a 6 with only 4 turbos used. Little blade with a replaceable stripper. So the cutter for the flat cable as well. That's why there's a gap in it. It's for cutting flat cable for the 6PCs. And it's got a round one there. So we'll start off. Yeah, I also use a pair of these. There's no need to buy the pull-through ones. Remember, I'm doing this for a camera. So first of all, you put that in there. You push up against the blade. And you score round it. That will then bend off like that. The thing you want to be doing now is removing the string. So you pull the string out. And you use your sharp pliers to get under there. I'm sorry about the frame, but I'm trying to do it for a camera and cut it off, yeah? Now all you're left with is the conductors you want. You split them open and you sing the song. Yeah, these are quite well marked. So I'm just going to unwrap them like that. So I can see my orange, white and my orange, my green and white, my blue, my brown and white and my brown and my green and white, my green, yeah? Don't pull miles of it off. Don't have six foot hanging out because it'll just be more for you to twist. An inch is the is good. I think it gives you something to work with. If you have to do a little bit more of your training, do it. Don't believe in that shit where people unfold with screwdrivers because you're just going to knack the cores up, yeah? They should just fall apart and easy because you've not got long enough. Then you sing the song, orange, white, orange, green and white, blue, which will cross over, blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. Then once you've sung the song, drag your fingers up and down them. You've got to work them, yeah? So I pinch them like this, look, and I just give them a whittle, and I pull them, and I whittle them, and I pull them, and I whittle them, and I run my fingers up and down, and then they should just fall right. So you should have orange, white, orange green and white blue blue and white green brown and white brown they've stayed right but they don't always stay right but now i know they're right i pinch them in my fingers while they're flat and i rub right down to the end yeah i'm not ragging them i'm just working them and just by working them by twisting them and rubbing on them yeah they'll go super flat look like that how cool is that someone's ringing me from work now wait there yeah so then I've worked these and they just, they've just gone super flat lock and they're just pinched. I'm always pinched them with one finger, although I suspect if I let them go, yeah, I could probably pick them back up again. Let's check that. Orange, white, orange, green and white, blue, blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. So they're bang on, yeah? Now, this is the tricky bit. I don't need to offer it up. Orange, white, orange, green and white, blue, blue and white, green, brown and white, brown. The clip goes down. That grey bit wants to be just past there like that, so... I sort of know, if I just put my thumb there and use my super duper accurate crimpers through the camera, this has got to be done nice and square, not on the piss like that, but nice and square like that there. So, bosh, don't let them go. Get your plug, it's see-through for a reason. These are meant to be machine fit all the time, so they're not meant to be fit by humans. Orange, white, orange, green, white, blue. Yeah, push that up. Don't let it float in mid-air, push it up. Ride that ramp in. Lift that up. Let it go in. Look, absolutely bang on. They've just touched the end. And my grey is just past the um, strain relief here. Give it a really good shove. Then, nice and close. Orange, white, orange. Green and white, blue. Blue and white, green. Brown and white, brown. Get your crimpers. Yeah. 
put it in the APC hole, click it in, yeah? Then push your cable gently and crimp. Once you've crimped it, it's done. It's not coming out. Undo it, pull it out. Absolutely spot on, yeah? That's crimped. That's not got any pass-through in it. If any water goes up here and comes out there, it'll come back through here and you'll see the leak and you'll know it's got moisture tracking up it, yeah? It'll come up here and fall out the front. It won't fucking track through this up there because it's harder and into all your connections. It'll just come out there. And there's no need to have these open ends. There's no need to have sort of shitty copper on show or getting dampened and false because... These have been around for 30 years, 40 years. And the crimpers have been around for 40 years. And it just works. Yeah, so if you are buying all that gimmicky shit, these are a tenth of the price. These are a tenth of the price. You don't need to keep changing the blades. Yeah, they're just selling it to you because it's a gimmick. Just spend a bit of time getting used to it and you're fucking away. Thank you very much. Don't buy them ones with holes through because they're wank.